In this lesson, we are going to learn about Microsoft Identity Platform. And within this lesson, we will go deep into Azure Active Directory and Active Directory Authentication Library. Let's understand what does it mean by identity as the control plane. Your cloud identity connects you to a wide variety of enterprise services, both within your organization and outside of your organization. Identities are the new control plane and securing them beyond just a password is a priority among many organizations. If an identity is stolen, the person or even the company is at risk for losing precious personal information and intellectual property. This can have devastating financial implications that are difficult to recover from. Microsoft Azure Active Directory or Azure AD is Microsoft's cloud-based identity and access management service. Azure AD creates and manages credentials that help enterprise users sign in and access both internal and external resources that are offered by your company or third-party companies more securely. Azure Active Directory's geographically distributed architecture combines extensive monitoring, automated rerouting, failover, and recovery capabilities which deliver company-wide availability and performance to customers. I have created multiple Azure Active Directory deep down in my previous sessions. If you want to go through each and every components within an Azure Active Directory, please watch my AZ104 playlist or AZ500 training playlist. Let us understand what is Active Directory Authentication Library or ADAL. For clients that need to access protected resources, Azure AD provides the Active Directory Authentication Library. ADAL version 1.0 enables application developers to authenticate users to cloud or on-premises Active Directory and obtain tokens for securing API calls. ADAL makes authentication easier for developers through features such as configurable token cache that stores access tokens and refresh tokens, automatic token refresh when an access token expires and a refresh token is available and support for asynchronous method calls. So let's look at how to create an authentication context by using ADAL. First, you initialize your app's authentication context, which is ADAL's primary class. Authentication context is where you pass ADAL that coordinates its needs to communicate with Azure AD and tell it how to cache tokens. The basic principle behind ADAL is that whenever your app needs an access token, your app simply calls auth context .acquire token async and ADAL does the rest. And when your app requests token by calling acquire token async, ADAL will attempt to return a token without asking the user for credentials. If ADAL determines that the user need to sign in to get a token, it will display a login dialog, collect the user's credentials and return a token upon successful authentication. If ADAL is unable to return a token for any reason, it will throw an ADAL exception. Let us look into an Azure AD evolution. Until recently, most developers have worked with Azure Active Directory version 1.0 platform to authenticate work and school accounts. By requesting token from Azure AD version 1.0, endpoint by using ADAL. Azure Portal for application registration and configuration and Azure AD Graph API for programmatic application configuration. With Microsoft Identity Platform version 2.0, you can expand your reach to these kinds of users. The users which are work and school accounts, personal accounts, your customers who bring their own email and social identity such as LinkedIn, Facebook, Google via the Azure AD B2C offering. With the unified Microsoft Identity Platform, you can write code once and authenticate any Microsoft identity into your application. For several platforms, there is a fully supported open source library called Microsoft Authentication Library or MSAL. 
You can use the Azure portal to register and configure your application and use the Microsoft Graph API for programmatic application configuration. So let us now look into Microsoft Identity Platform. Microsoft Identity Platform is an evolution of Azure AD Developer Platform. It allows developers to build applications that log in users, get tokens to call APIs such as Microsoft Graph or APIs that developers have built, and it consists of an authentication service, open source libraries, application registration, and configuration through a developer portal and application API, full developer documentation, quick start samples, code samples, tutorials, how-to guide, and other developer content. The Microsoft Identity Platform supports industry standard protocols such as Open Authentication 2.0 and Open ID Connect. Let's understand the objects in Azure AD. An Azure AD application is defined by its one and only application object, which resides in Azure AD tenant where the application was registered. To access resources that are secured by an Azure AD tenant, the entity that requires access must be represented by a security principle. This is true for both users and application. The security principle defines the access policy and permissions for the user or application in the Azure AD tenant. This enables core features such as authentication of the user or application during sign-in and authorization during resource access. Note that registering an application is a necessary step which involves telling Azure AD about application including the URL where it's located, the URL to send replies after authentication and uniform resource identifier to identify the application. Azure AD needs to communicate with the application when handling sign-in or exchanging tokens. Some additional considerations exist when developing a multi-tenant application instead of a single-tenant application. In particular, if you are making an application available to users in multiple directories, you need a mechanism to determine which tenant they are in. To accomplish this task, Azure AD provides a common authentication endpoint where any multi-tenant application can direct sign-in requests instead of a tenant-specific endpoint. This endpoint is https login.microsoftonline.com slash common. For all directories in Azure AD, while a tenant-specific endpoint might be https login.microsoftonline.com slash contuso.onmicrosoft.com. The common endpoint is especially important to consider when developing your application because you will need the necessary logic to handle multiple tenants during sign-in, sign-out, and token validation. That concludes this lesson. In the next lesson, we are going to learn about Microsoft Graph. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.